Hello guys, Sanjay here and as you can see I have the MI3 with me and I have the original Mi cover that I brought uh, almost a year back for 49 rupees and I have installed it just now and this is a pretty cool cover but this video is not about the cover so let's not talk about that this video is about the Synergy Mod 12.1 that is officially supported for the MI3 so let me just go into the settings and if we go into about phone you'll be able to see that Synergy Mod version 12.1 and that and this is the official build and surely that's a very good thing because uh, official support means there will be nightlies on daily basis so you can update the ROM on daily basis and many things are working very good in this ROM uh, even the battery life is very good and if you have flashed other ROMs on MI3 then you might be knowing about the screen of death issue uh, it's like when you call someone the screen will go black complete black and you have to reboot the phone in order to get it working once again but somehow that bug is not present in the rom that was present in first uh, two or three builds so that's why i didn't make a review uh, at that time i was waiting for few updates and after few updates i made a pretty large amount of calls but i did not face any issue like that so that that's a very good thing Performance of the ROM is like blazingly smooth as you can see I have so many apps running in the background uh, I usually do not remove the apps from the background so all the applications are over here and this is the CN Delta application which is used to update the nightly build so as I said the ROM will be updated on daily basis so because of which you will have to download 300 MB package or 300 MB ROM every day but with the CN Delta application you do not need to download the 300 MB ROM package you just have to download 30 MB or 40 MB some days it's 20 MB also ROM package uh, I have already made a video on how to do that I'll leave the link of that in the description box below so as I said the performance of the phone is good no issues with the performance and all the Sanation Mod 12.1 features are over here and there are some more features also like if we just go into buttons then we can enable on-screen navigation bar so yeah this is the on-screen navigation bar as you can see but the problem with the on-screen navigation bar is that hardware buttons also work at the same time on MI3 at least uh, on other phones it may not do that so yeah that's the thing over here so after this now let's talk about the battery life on the phone and uh, I got pretty good battery life with this ROM and that was quite surprising for me also like I did not think that without flashing accelerate kernel I'll get such a good battery life so as you can see the screen on time is 3 hours and 28 minutes 20% 20 of battery is remaining and I did some stuff with the device so that is why there is few battery drop over here but uh, the battery life is very good I did not have any problem uh, getting through a day and even the standby battery loss is very very less so if you keep the device overnight only 2 or 3% of the battery will be gone uh, it can be less than that too but depending on the build the battery drain issue might be different and if you open the camera application let's open the camera application so you will be able to click good pictures so let's click a picture so as you can see the picture clicked is also very good I am quite surprised with the uh, camera quality also because on the other ROMs I did not see such a great quality on the and as you can see the front facing camera is also very good so yeah so as you can see I was talking but still yeah it's good and one of the issue with all MI3 ROMs is that if you click picture with HDR mode it the it will freeze the camera so let's try to click it in landscape mode so yeah it freezes on CM 12.1 also I don't know what's the issue with HDR mode and MI3 in, on all the ROMs but yeah that's the issue over here but if we go into video mode and uh, yeah wait, let's go into setting and you can shoot videos up to 4k so yeah, as you can see UHD 4k you can select that mode also 1080p 720p or like basic and front camera video is limited to 720p so I wish that 1080p was available but anyways I do not record videos with front camera so yeah this was pretty much it for this video guys and I wanted to make this video because developer worked really hard for this and made the CM 12.1 official for the MI3 which I am having since the beginning of my video and if you are still here like if you are still watching this video then do hit the like button and let's see if we can reach the 500 likes on this video because uh, MI3 is pretty old now like it's almost one year in India at least so let's see how many people are here and how many of you are watching so do hit the like button and let's see if we can reach the milestone of 500 likes on this video so do hit that thumbs up button and you can surely dual boot the CM 12.1 with MIUI 7 I have already made a video on that like how to do that that will be linked in the description box also so if you want to dual boot MIUI 7 with CM 12.1 you can do that also personally I do not prefer that because it just eats away a lot of space and 
uh, already there is only 12 GB of space available. But if you want to do that, surely you can do that too. And if you do not know how to install this ROM, then I'll give the guide of that also in the description box below. You can follow that guide. And I'll recommend you to use CWM recovery. Do not use TWRP recovery as of now and MI3. And if you have MI3 and you haven't subscribed, then do hit that subscribe button because uh, yeah, this channel has already made so many videos on MI3. So thank you guys. Thank you for watching.